guys and welcome to your weekend reading i hope all of you are doing great thank you for tuning in so let's see what is coming up here aries in your general message for the weekend i hope all of you are doing fantastic thank you for tuning into my channel okay so spirit angels and guides today we had a double overlapping yod yods are god's hand of fate or destiny and one was it had something to do with communication because mercury was at the top and the other one was venus and scorpio um, venus and scorpio is the love of the secret the love of the the hidden um but let's see let's see what's coming up here five of wands competitive energy maybe in a relationship um combative um people you know wanting to fight over what they feel like is their position okay there is something here about very strong and powerful feelings uh, connected to the the truth and clarity um Something has to be clarified. Oh gosh. So there's something here kind of toxic about the situation. It has to do with control. So much control that it's kind of like too much, like an, an unnatural or like a, this is the energy of lies. I mean, I hate to say that again, but it's the energy of secrecy here you are coming in as emperor but let's see what's going on i mean there is something about the shadow side other people are connected to this tower and this is a very private group people who are maybe you know closed off in a very closed off team or group what's going on aries there's an offer that was made, put on the table, a coin. You're loyal, you're stable, you're not going anywhere. Near future is closed off energy, four of coin, uh, shutting out or not wanting to take any risks. Maybe, maybe saving money. We have a queen of swords. You're in a very intelligent, intellectual energy, um, making smart choices. Someone here doesn't know. They're confused, possibly, or they they lack information. You want a nine of water. You want things to be good and happy. Um, maybe your approach as the queen of swords is a little distant or standoffish. You're defending your boundary. What's the outcome here for Aries in this situation? A four of swords. There's just, you know, an eight of rods is like all of a sudden something um, rapidly takes off. So it could be text messages. It could be flights. It could be um, fire in one direction. And then here we have four of swords, like no communication. Four of pentacles. No, it's just very blocked off. Because of this privacy here, there's like this private group, this elite group with the devil, though, there's something not right about it because the devil wants to control through limiting someone else's freedom. Your energy is the queen of swords. You're just sort of telling it like it is. You could be giving someone advice. You could be telling them the truth. The sun is here that you don't see. What's behind the sun? Okay, what is the person around Aries in a Two of Swords for? They just don't know. They could be trying to make a tough choice. Oh, their heart is broken. Three of Swords. They have a broken heart. They're dealing with heartbreak in some manner. They're, they're dealing with maybe even bad news in some way. Somebody may have been angry flying off the handle 
losing their patience, um, dealing with that. And also seven of pentacles and four of wands, looking at what someone can afford, what someone can buy, the value, uh, you know, being very practical and the person around you could be dealing with someone who is a, around bad people or around toxic people. What is this devil about? Why is that there? The devil brings the tower. Okay. This person really like kind of loses their cool and you're like, cool it. Just cool it. <laughs> and why does it come into a four of pentacles? Ten of Cups. There's a lot of feelings invested in this situation, but somebody's very, um, they don't want to risk anything. They could have a lot to lose or, so why does it end up as a Four of the Swords? Why does it end up as a Four of the Swords? Somebody at the last minute made a last minute decision here. Um, they go public with something or somebody went public with something. Now it is like a hero's march, a hero's victory, an announcement. Um, I don't understand this. Aries, you could have uh, air sign placements, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is the queen of swords for your energy? Hierophant. Something about rules, regulation, tradition, following rules, following tradition, um, legal advice even. You could be giving somebody legal advice if they're, you know, they trusted the wrong people, they got involved in the wrong crowd. Why does this go public? The judgment. It's a day of final judgment on a page of swords, somebody who has the info. Somebody who knows or has the info. Page of Swords could be like some kind of snitch or something. Why is someone around with a broken heart because of someone like threatening, yelling? They leave. They're just like, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Eight of Cups. There's a choice. They've made up their mind. They've made a choice. Somebody reaches out to be kind with feelings, but there's already this really painful situation and someone's under a lot of pressure. Earth sign here made an offer, very strong overpowering emotions. Someone's rushing in and rushing out. Okay, so let's, let's see. Um, you may have someone, to, you may have told someone facts, legal facts, uh, You may have told someone like something to do with the law. And so they're like, I don't want to have that talk again. Why does this go public with the judgment? Why does this go public? Five of cups. And it's something about like a last minute decision, two of rods. Ooh, somebody makes a last minute choice, a last minute decision. And here's this queen of swords, like somebody was very distant or maybe you gave someone advice. Maybe you um, were very distant. I mean, queen of swords is not bad. That's an intellectual. It's somebody who knows facts. What is three of five? I mean, what is four of swords about here? Why is that there? It has something to do with this devil energy. So it has to do with they're not allowed to say, or you're not allowed to say, but you queen of swords, you're like, I will say, I, you know, I know. And then someone here is like, they're not saying anything because they think you'll go public. And again, it's like their heart is broken. They have a three of swords. And why it do why does this person threaten like that you'll go public? Which could just mean like Facebook or something like 
Knight of Coin. Okay. You want to make this offer. You want to be loyal. You want to make this offer. Why does this come in as Four of Coin? Why is it so held back? This Queen of Wands, there's a fire sign here, an Aries, Leo, or Sag. They come in with a lot of fire. They come in with a lot of passion, energy, creative. Um, I mean, it the, the Queen comes in with an Ace. So it's like, hold on. Okay. Any Aries, Leo, or Sag? person comes in with new fire so they could be triggered what is the ten of cups about why is there a lot of emotions involved ace of cups strong overwhelming emotions the ace is very powerful because it is the start of something new and the Hierophant, independent choices, independent decisions. The Hierophant is like, acts on behalf of an organization, a legal authority, follows the rules, follows something traditional, but also Nine of Coin is like independent, doing their own thing. What is this um, Six of Wands energy as the outcome? What is the Six of Wands energy as the outcome? Someone's like is going public. A King of Pentacles. And this person, I'm telling you, they're with other people. Three of Pentacles, a tight, small group. And this Earth sign, whoever it is, it's a King of the Earth. So it's somebody who has substantial wealth they have some kind of investment they go public or there's something public about the situation there's something heroic possibly and what is this all about why does somebody lose their cool why does somebody lose their cool knight of swords same energy same card <laughs> um Thank you, Spirit, for confirming that someone will lose their patience because their heart is broken. Because of this devil and tower. What is this devil and tower? It's like a small, tight group. What is this? Temperance, Sagittarius, Lovers, Gemini. So it could be... Um, Somebody has to be patient. They have to handle something very, very carefully. It's it's a very, um, this is a very sensitive situation. Why is it the devil though? Like, why is it so, like, something is discovered And somebody yaps like they talk. <laughs> Could have an Aquarius or someone with Aquarius placements. Page of Swords to the Star and the Hermit. There's a discovery, but then something is healed and let go of. And someone is just trying to, like, they could be burnt out. There could be burnout here. They could be defending themselves against someone else. There's a Scorpio female here, a water sign. And there's, this brings in the judgment, or it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This brings in the ju judgment. Someone's under very heavy, heavy burdens. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords again. Eight of Cups. They walk away because of a Four of Swords. Or you walked away because of a Four of Swords. Look at this. Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. I'm done. Like, this is it. Um, okay. So your energy Aries is like queen of air. I know the facts. This isn't emotional. I pick up the book and I read the book and that's what it says. And 
you know, it's a winter for someone. Witch's hat of power. Okay, we got the witch's hat of power. So some of you could have, they say witches, witchcraft, or just witch tendencies, such as psychic abilities, um, natural knowledge of astrology and tarot, or natural psychic abilities can be, gen or is genetic, genetically passed down. <sighs> So some of you have the witches out of power. I mean, you could come from Scotland or you could have traits from anywhere, any country. You have the Lord God masculine. This is really, really powerful. Let me see what that means. What is the Lord God masculine? I know it just means there's a masculine energy um, and the witches out of power. Where's my book? Well, we don't really need to talk about what is the Lord God masculine. We know what that is. Remembering ancestors is right here. Going through an incubation period. Wanting to be alone. Candle magic. And the cloak of concealment. Something's being cloaked. Um, but candle magic is really fun. I mean, why not? You know, um, I use candles all the time. Um, I have these little candles called Wicca sticks. They're really fun. They have white, yellow, pink, green, all of the colors. So you can just sort of, you know, use them for prayer. Um, but uh, that's what I have for you, Aries. It looks like... Something is being announced or made known and someone and the end result is I'm not talking to you and I'm done because this person here has a four of swords or a three of swords. So there's nothing more to be said, which is like really strange. It's like there's nothing more to be said, even though you're independent, you're following some kind of tradition, path, rule, legacy, and... At the root of all this is something kind of um, toxic or unnecessary drama. But that's what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.